Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Temporal Forces deck video, and today we're looking at another really cool Raging Bolt combo, and that is going to be Raging Bolt with the Rocks. Now, Raging Bolt is a really fun card to play. I've done a few videos on this already, and there's even more cooking in the works. One of the combos I was really excited to try out for this was actually Raging Bolt with Soul Rock and Lunatone, because you can actually use Soul Rock's ability to put energy onto your Lunatone, which actually then fuels Raging Bolt's main attack, Bellowing Thunder, that does 70 damage, discarding any any amount of basic energy from your Pokemon doing 70 damage for each card discarded in this way. Of course, if you're discarding a ton of energy, you don't have a damage cap, you can do some pretty big numbers. 70 times multiplier is really good. I mean, you got 70, 140, 210, 280, which is magic numbers. And then 350 with five energy is enough to blow up big threats like Charizard EX. And of course, having a one prize engine behind you is nice because you're not having Sandy Shocks in play. And you can also use Lunatone as a one prize attacker with that moon kinesis attack and on top of that if you're playing it's like a Mimikyu you have the ability to attack through Mimikyu with Lunatone which actually ends up being very clutch and of course you have the Sada's vitality to accelerate energy into play for your Raging Bolt on top of those Soul Rock and we got Ancient Booster Capsule meaning that the only two prizer we have in play is mostly the Raging Bolt which already has 240 HP we have a capsule on it it's got 300 HP sometimes making it even more awkward and harder for the opponent to knock out in one hit. And I definitely wanted to try this combo. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to give a shout out to my friend Magic the Gathering Malone. We did a collab together. He is a Magic the Gathering YouTube channel. And on our recent collab, I actually had to guess how playable certain Magic cards were. Now, I do not play Magic at all. I have no knowledge about the game. I maybe played it like once over like a decade ago. So I don't know a lot about the game itself. So I had to guess how good certain cards were. And honestly, it was a pretty fun video. And if you're interested and you're somebody who also plays Magic, definitely check out the video link down below. And make sure to go subscribe to my boy Malone down below too. It's a really fun video and I'm definitely down to record more videos like that. Maybe I'll even get somebody on to do a video where I make them guess how playable certain Pokemon cards are. And of course, if you're new here to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We're on the road to 60 thousand subscribers we're less than like 100 subs away from 50k or 60k sorry we might already be at 60k but if we're not at 60k make sure to subscribe down below or even if we are at 60k subscribe anyways that would be on the road to reaching 70k subs and of course big shout out to the sponsor card cavern tcg of course if you're looking to get any pokemon tc live pack out just get them over at card cavern card council's code line for the cheapest so if you're looking to pick up any code still like temporal forces an older set or you want to get some irl singles and product card councils all that over there if you get anything at card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and help a card cabin so big shout out card cabin check them out use code ldf link down below also make sure to go check out my second channel down below too i just did a video where i looked at a bunch of twilight masquerade rogue decks so if you're somebody who wants to play a little bit more on the rogue side with twilight masquerade definitely check out that video down below who knows maybe it inspired some content ideas for when the set comes out for me so yeah here is my rocks bolt list it's a pretty straightforward concept we just have four raging bolt four uh soul rock three lunatone one greninja that's it we're not playing sandy shocks no mew no slither wing we're just playing these for the attackers i think the attacker lineup is fine um we got the four sada two iona one boss four poke gear two pal pad three vessels three shoes a lot of turbo we got the prime catcher as our ace spec three capsules one artisan to get out our rocks i guess the only downside about the rocks you can't get them out as easily through buddy poffin it would have been pretty op if you get buddy poffin for double soul rock or lunatone would have been kind of sick we got the six psychic the three fighting and the three lightning pretty good energy count we got a rod in the deck too you just got to be mindful of your energy management when using sada to power up your raging bolt and i like the combo a lot because you have just one prize in play you can present, present yourself a one prize board state lunatone can be a one prize attacker sometimes you can attack with it if you really wanted to and uh, I like the idea a lot. It's a really cool concept. There's other Raging Bolt decks I'm definitely cooking up in the future. So hopefully, maybe I'll do one more Raging Bolt video before Twilight. We'll have to see on that one. But let's uh, get into some action now with the Bolt Rocks deck. I get in this game with Raging Bolt. Let's see what we got. Not a bad turn one. We're up against Future Hands, um, which honestly could be scary. Like, they could easily win the game by going around my Raging Bolt. No, Greninja's prized. Oof. Okay, that really sucks, actually. Yikes. <sighs> it sucks. It's not good, actually. Greninja Mean Prize is pretty killer. Hmm. Shoot. Uh, if only I could burst for my first turn. I don't Ultra Ball anything away. I kind of need everything. Might just bench. Bench pass. We'll just wait a turn. That sucks. Greninja Mean Prize actually is so bad. That could lose us the game until we find Heavy Ball. Not good, not good, not good. This matchup could be scary. The one thing is really they could just go around the Raging Bolt because our engine is literally 
one prizers. If they can go around Raging Bolt every turn is pretty bad. So we'll see if we can keep up in that regard. Not even Greninja will make this very difficult though, I'm not gonna lie. Not even the Greninja might make this a little bit too difficult to win. We will see though. Alright. They could Iono me, which would be nice. I maybe should have Ultra Balled, but I need the double Sada. I, I I don't know. We'll just hold the hand. No, they still found Prime Catcher turn one. Go figure. Well, can they even take anything out? Not really. 60, 80. They need two more modifiers. So they might whiff the knockout anyways. We can just retreat. All right, this might not be too bad. I mean, I would prefer not to Sada the Psychic in play. That's kind of the issue. They are going to Iono. Okay, this is fine. As long as we find energy, it's okay. Nice. Not a bad hand. All right, we definitely can make this work. Still want that heavy ball, though, but this hand's, like, not bad, actually. They probably have a knockout, though, unless they don't get another Iron Crown. If they don't knock me out, we're chilling. We have Switch Card and whatnot, so it's okay. Okay, no knockout. Nice. All right, we're chilling. Do I Shoes first or Vessel first? Kind of a tough one to decide. But they whiff the knockout, which is huge. Yeah, I need them to whiff there. They got a heavy baton, too, which is nice. All right, what's our top deck? Okay, I'm going to Vessel first. Grab these two. Then I'll play Shoes. All right, sure. I guess I should Nest Ball, but I could hit, he I could hit Heavy Ball. Could hit Heavy Ball here. It's not Heavy Ball. Hmm. Can I need to hit Sada off of this? See, this we're not even Greninja really sucks. No, what? It fails. Come on, Poke Gear. I thinned, bro. Uh, damn. Okay, we're gonna have to just tragically just burst roar. I could knock him out. Nah, we just burst roar. I guess this sucks. Unfortunate. Nothing can be done. That's not good. Horrible draws on my end. There's the Sada, dude. Come on, Sada. Could have came a bit earlier in the game. Again, this is where not having the Greninja is just killer. I like, dude, if I had Greninja in play, we would have been in a way better spot. Greninja being prized is going to make this 10 times harder to win. We can Prime Catcher next turn, though, which is probably what I'm going to do. If I can pull it off, I'm going to try to Prime Catcher KO the hands. So that's fine. They didn't get a KO, which honestly is huge. The fact they didn't knock out the rock there is pretty important. So we're still, like, in an okay spot. And the, the capsules are nice. So, yeah, we can knock out one of the hands next turn. I might do that. Assuming, yeah, we can KO hands probably. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll see what my opponent can cook up. I need to find the Greninja. I need to... F I think Heavy Ball... I honestly didn't prize check. I actually don't even know if Heavy Ball is in the deck. Hopefully Heavy Ball is in the deck. We shall see. But we'll kill one of the hands here, I think. Unless they Iono me. No, they're going to boss me again. Ooh. Okay, this is fine. They're going to poke... Um, or wait, are they going to poke this? They can't knock me out with hands, right? 180, 200, 220. There's no way they can do 240. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can just Prime Catcher the hands here. This is fine with me, Chief. They've wasted two gusts now on not taking a knockout. And that's really relevant, because like I said, Raging Bolt is very bulky in this matchup, not to mention their bench is clogged up with damage mods. And on top of that, they can't go around the bolt as easily. So this is actually fine. So we can kill the Iron Hands here, which I think is what I'm going to do. They don't put energy on the other hands, which is very odd. Okay. So... I'm trying to think. How do I sequence this? Consada Retreat. No matter what, we play the Sada. Yeah, Sada Prime Catcher Attach. No heavy ball there. Okay, rip. Gotta get rid of all the energy to KO them, which is the only downside about this. But it is worth it to knock this thing out. Especially because they didn't put energy on the other hands, which is like strange. They haven't played a generator yet either, so I don't know. What's bro cooking? I don't know. Alright, Bellowing Thunder. We have to get rid of all the energy. A little disappointing. But as long as we can find Sada, it's fine. All right. Getting Greninja out of the prizes would just be Pog Champ. One and three. One of those got to be Greninja, right? No. Vessel Pile Pad are pretty good prizes, though. If I'm not getting Greninja, I will happily take those. Now, what are the odds they have an Iono? Ideally, if they have an Iono here, it is bad because I can Pile Pad and then gear and try to get my other Sada. I actually don't want to get Ionoed here. Getting Ionoed would be really awkward, actually. Yeah, we're hoping not to get Ionoed. We're hoping to not get Ionoed here. Let's see if they have it. Four cards in hand. What are the odds they just have the Iono every time? Guaranteed. Easy card. And away, please. Do they got it like that? No Iono. This is where the game doesn't end, but it's looking pretty good for us right now. So now we're in an okay spot. We can do a lobbying vessel. 
yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. That was a huge whiff. Now, I need to hit the Sada. I would rather Pokegear into Sada than Palpad two Sadas back, than Palpad a Sada back just to get a Sada. We'll see what happens. Shoes is good. Maybe I do take the risk then, actually. Okay, we can Vessel two. Let's grab more Psychic Energy. Yeah, because we can just Lightning. Okay, so let's do this. We will... And I guess I could just Nest Ball then to thin even more, right? Then maybe that's okay. Maybe it's okay. Okay. We'll shoes. That's fine. Boss, okay. Now, do I take the gamble or do I pelpad the Sada back in? Dude, I don't know. This is kind of... They, they're proud of the crown, though, which is interesting. I guess they're trying to go after my rocks. They're proud of crown, though. Then this guy's not being threatened. So even if I with Sada, it's not that bad. Huh. I, I'm going for it. Gamble paid off. I mean, the odds were good to find the Sada. I don't think we prized one. So that's good. I will take it. Then we can do this. Nice. Slap that on. We can do a bunch of rocks. Then we can Palpad Sada back, which is pretty good. And we can get rid of the energy we put on the rock here with the soul. With the, so we don't have to get rid of the energy on the active, which is also huge. This is what makes this deck powerful is you get rid of the energy on the bench, not the active. And sometimes that just is a lot, right? So, yeah, I think we just do it, right? Bellowing Thunder. Knock out this Maridon. Get rid of the energy on the rock. Yeah. It's pretty good. Can we get Greninja? Not that it's as relevant now, but it'd still be nice. Psychic energy. And another energy is another energy, I guess. It's like, okay. All right, let's see what my opponent can do here. Can they stop... The bull. We pal padded the double Sada back, so if they Iono me, we can still easily draw a Sada. We have energy on the active. We're still basically attacking every turn because the two energy on the active plus the Soul Rocks to power up the Lunatone. Town Store, that gets me another booster capsule. Like, I'm not sure what their angle is here because, like, it's weird that they powered up the crown and not the hands, but I guess they're cooking something. Their game plan is to maybe go after my Rocks to shut off my engine, but I have my Rod still. I still have the Rod to get the Rocks back. I still have my other Lunatone in the deck. The engine is the Soul Rock, not the Lunatone. Like, if the Lunatone dies, I just get another one in play. And as long as Soul Rock stays in play, I'm still funneling energy into play. This combo's kind of cracked. All right, do they have an Iono? Not that it matters. We're still counting the active, but do they have an Iono? No Iono. Okay. Okay, they do actually... Well, okay, this is a little awkward. They do KO my Lunatone, and I currently don't have another one. But, I mean, still, we're still... We can just nuke their active with my, with my guy. I mean, I don't really want to do that, though. Maybe I do Iono. Okay, let's see what our top deck is. Interesting. Yeah, I guess we're iono -ing. And even, yeah, I think we, I need to Iono into a rock. We still have two Ultra Ball, Artisan, and the two Lunatone. I can Super Rod here, too, and I think I'm just going to do that. Okay, yeah, screw it. I think I'm just going to go for the, the Iono at this point. Whatever, YOLO. It's fine, because we're, we're so far ahead right now, this honestly doesn't even matter. We might as well just Rod. And then just Iono. We just need to draw into a... Lunatone. And if I whiff it, we can still kill the active, but let's just make it easy. Oh, easy peasy does it. And they just scoop. Pretty good stuff. We got there. I mean, this matchup should be okay. Like, they have to go around the Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt having potentially 300 HP is really awkward for them. And once we kind of get the train rolling, even without Greninja, not even Greninja really sucked because we weren't able to really funnel the energy in the discard as easily for the rocks. But once we set up energy in the discard and we got there, we were able to just constantly funnel energy on our Lunatone. They took out my Lunatone. They took out the engine of the deck, but we just get like the Lunatone so easy. They knock out the Lunatone, not the Soul Rock. I can just mention the Lunatone and then I'm back to it. So in that case, it would be better to kill the Soul Rock instead of Lunatone. My opponent's got a Rodom. Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is Charizard or not, which is pretty annoying. Hmm. I'm going to grab a Lunatone and just pass. Just because I don't know what I'm playing against. I don't want to bench Greninja because I have no idea if I'm playing against Charizard or not. Or if I'm playing against um, uh, Snorlax. So this is Snorlax. It's Snorlax. Okay. I mean, this guy, I mean, if they Eric come here, it's kind of game over. We do have double switch card, I guess, but it's like getting Eric is really bad. All right. What do we top deck? Ooh, the vacuum. It's pretty good, actually. We can just immediately get rid of this Greninja. All right. It's not bad. Ironically enough, Soul Rock getting stuck in the active isn't bad either, but it's not ideal. I don't have a kill on this Rodom, which is really frustrating, unless I grab Soul Rock. But then they can trap it in the active. Actually, no, but Soul Rock can attack, though. 
I think it's okay to get Soul Rock then, right? Because we can attack with it. Okay, get, grabbing Soul Rock ironically is not bad here. Because it actually technically can attack. Alright, we just don't have anything in our hand. But killing this Rodom is pretty good. Alright, this is fine. Yeah, Soul Rock's okay because we can attack with it. It does 100 damage, which is like putting some pressure on the Snorlax. Hey, look at that. Sada and Booster Capsule. I mean, the Booster Capsule is useless. The Sada's good, though. Sada's really good. Okay, this isn't bad. They don't counter catch for me here. We can hopefully just kill another Snorlax. They do have Mimikyu. That's why we have the Lunatone. So it's like, okay. Yeah, I think we're, we're chilling. We just need to manage our resources. Right, right. We just need to manage our resources really well. That's the goal. We need to manage our resources. There's a boss. That's fine. Like I said, we can try to get an energy on this guy. Okay, well, Sada. Lightning. See, we got... No fighting energy, rip. That's a bit of an issue. Another Sada for next turn, though, is okay. Yeah, we should be mindful of our energy, right? And we should be okay. Because Soul Rock can attack Snorlax, which is pretty sick. They have no Rodom at the moment. Eerie, that's fine. Alright, what's our top deck? Palpad? Okay, well, Sada again, I guess. No energy still. Bro, where's my energy at? Really? Where's the energy at, bro? I don't know where my energy's at, but okay then. We could draw a switch card too to knock him out of Raging Bolt, which is also an option. We could just. Well, I might want to save switch card though for Mimikyu. I need to start attacking though. Where's my energy at? Oh, Misfortune Sisters. No, they milled a switch card, of course. Damn it. That's annoying. It's really annoying. There we go. We finally hit a vessel. Grab these two. All right, sick. And like I said, Soul Rock can attack, so we'll just chill. All right, finally we got something. Let's see what my opponent does here. Will they be able to deal with this? They do have a Super Rod. Okay, that's annoying. They're getting back their Rodom, which I don't like. Can they get the Rodom back out this turn, though? They mill my other Switch card. That's pretty bad. What? How is this thing hitting so many items? What the fudge? My other vessel now? Not the vessel. All right, whatever. We'll attach and then, yeah. Start spinning attacking. We can save Poke Gear to try to find boss to bring in Rodom at some point. Okay, this is fine. We can just keep swinging into Snorlax here with our Soul Rock. Okay, there's Poke Gear. That should get them a Arvin, I imagine, which will get them back the Rodom. Yep. F. What do they have? Another Nest Ball? We can, try, we can still try to kill the Rotom at some point. They get a tool here, so I can't kill the Snorlax. 100 damage is not as much as I would have liked. And they're going to counter catcher the Lunatone. That's fine. Can still power it up. We just need to find Psychic Energy, which we haven't been able to find yet, which is a bit of an issue. Hmm. Still no Rotom. All right, this is fine. All right, what do we draw? Damn, that's not it. Uh, I don't want to cycle draw, but I might have to. I don't want to put another thing down, though. I don't want to Iono them, either. Yeah, I might have to cycle draw. This feels bad, but I, don't, I mean, I kind of have to. Nice. There we go. As long as I'm finding energy for the Lunatone, that's all that matters. If I can discard that Psychic here somehow, we can attack with Lunatone this turn. We have to put the lightning on, though, but it's still an energy. We can still hit for relevant damage. Oh, Penny, that's annoying. With no Rodom in play, it's not the end of the world. They still haven't found the Rodom yet, so it's not that bad. Okay, what's our top deck? Miss Ball. All right, sure. We're, the, we're gonna have to put the light energy on. It's awkward, but it is gonna have to be done just to get damage on. Another psychic would be good. They're gonna Iono me. All right, sure. Well, my opponent just has all these supporters in their hand without a Rodom. That's awesome. Another Iono. Pidgeot. We got a couple shoes, which is good. Do they get Rodom off the Iono? They're drawing pretty well, considering they have no Rodom in play. So that's kind of frustrating, but hopefully they don't have the nuts. Need that. Shoes. Get rid of that. Energy, please? No. 
Iono? Okay, I need to find a Psychic Energy. We might as well Iono them. That might give them Rodom. I hate to do that, but I do need to find Psychic, which... Oh, we still don't find, bruh. We got Prime Catcher, though. I think I'd rather save that. Hmm. Do I just Prime Catcher here? Knock out one of the Snorlaxes with Raging Bolt? I don't want to waste my energy, though. I need to give it a three energy, so it's like probably... I mean, we do have the Sada. We still have Boss. Sure. I don't know if this is actually correct or not. Whatever. Let's go for it. I need to take prizes at the end of the day. <laughs> if we don't take prizes, our deck is not winning. So we'll see. All right. We still have the boss, so we can still find the boss to knock stuff out. And there's another Sada. That's good. We can rot energy back. They could eerie. That was the other reason I like playing the Prime Catcher. If they just eerie me there, it's like we just lose our Prime Catcher. I may as well just play it. It's fine. We force a Counter Catcher out of them here, which is also pretty good. So I think it's fine. I think it was fine. Just to take three prizes to win the game. We knock out one Snorlax and Rodon potentially. So we can we can get there. Erica, that's fine. Palpad. Sure. Losing my other Switch card could be a bit of a problem. We have to be mindful of that. Losing our other Switch card could be bad. They put back Penny Misfortune. See, they're getting ready, bro. Do they have Counter Catcher in hand? That'd be a little cheesy if they did. Bravery Charm, whatever. All right, do they have Counter Catcher? No Counter Catcher. What's our top deck? Energy is good. There we go. And Sada. All right, do this. See, we got it. Nice. Switch cart. Perfect. We might be actually just hugely chilling here. To be honest, we kind of are. All right, Burst Roar. One, two, three. You're dead. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. We just need to knock out two more Snorlaxes. This is looking pretty good. What's our prize? Twice. Psychic is perfect. We have Switch Card in hand. If we don't get Eerie Counter Catcher here, we just... We might win if they don't get another basic, in all honesty. Ah, uh, this is so annoying about that. All right, what do we draw? Please just give me a Sada. No. Okay, we can do this. Thin out. And then we can just Burst Roar, which we're going to have to do. It's fine. Nice, let's go. That's better. Two Psychic Energy. We need a Lightning, but we Poke Gear should... I, okay, assuming we don't get Eerie'd here. Gear should get us into Sada. What are the odds they Eerie me, though? Because, like, they got to assume I drew a Sada off that, right? So, we'll see. We have Boss in hand. Actually, if I just draw Lightning Energy, I win the game. Because I have game on the Rodom. So, we'll see. Ooh, they're playing Mantine. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, my God. Okay, that sucks. Still have Rod, though, to get fighting back. We can still theoretically attack with the thing. Well, they go Mantine. I mean, no, we're fine. We're fine. It's actually not that bad. We can knock out Mantine in the boss for game. Assuming they don't play two Ionos. Is this going to get a Switch Cart? So they are going Mantine. But what do you even Mantine out? I vacuum my Greninja, which was, like, kind of the important thing. Everything in the discard pile, I don't really care. Technically, it doesn't matter if anything gets put into play. Other Like, Soul Rock is annoying, but not that big of a deal. I, as long as I hit... I can still win in two turns, so I think I'm okay. I still win in two turns, basically. Okay. Or I win this turn. That's a huge top deck. Okay, I could just win this turn. Let's see. Nope. Okay, no win this turn. We got the Sada, though. Do I bench double bolt? No, I don't. We just Sada. Do this. See, we got Super Rod is good. We can Sun Energy to the Lunatone. Attach. I guess I could attach this guy to blow up Rodon, but they probably get a tool on it. Or Rod. Knockout. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. This is pretty good. We have game in hand, so we'll see. 
Do they have a third Iono? I don't think they play three Ionos. Most Ronix Death Stone. Okay, we got Palpi. They eerie me here. Eerie Countercatcher is kind of annoying, but what are the odds they have that in a four card handy? I know they have Rodon, but like, still, what are the odds? They can do the Wombo combo. We have game in hand, like I said, so we'll see what they got. We currently have game if they try to do anything. They have a four card hand. What can they really work with with just four cards? Let's see. What do they got? No, bro. The Iono. Okay, we got Sada at least. There we go. Where are they getting the Ionos from? That's crazy, dude. That, this is so annoying. How are they drawing these Ionos? That's so silly, bro. All right, whatever. We hit Sada. We're close. We're close to winning this. So frustrating. We just need one knockout and we win the game. Let's see we draw. That's not it. All right. It's fine. Sada. Nice. Let's go. We'll leave the energy in the discard for another Sada next turn. Right, we're two-shotting the Snorlax. We're forcing Penny out of them. That Iono sucks because I had game in hand. I don't know how. Dude, my opponent is finding Iono perfectly without barely drawing any cards. It's actually super frustrating. I didn't know they played three Iono. I thought they just played two. All right, whatever. It's still looking okay right now. We'll see what they got. We just need one more knockout and we win the game. One more knockout and we win. Let's see if we can pull it off. Let's see what they do. They could trap my other Soul Rock. We just need to find our boss, right? We have Palpad too. We just need to find boss, basically. Boss wins us the game. Which, honestly, we can probably just chill until we find boss, to be honest with you. Especially when we have the rocks in play. We threaten the Mimikyu, which is nice. This game's going on longer than I would have liked it to, to be honest with you. But that's Snorlax for you. If only I had a way to one-shot Snorlax with Soul Rock would have been nice. Yeah, Soul Rock's pretty funny because it hits for weakness. It actually kind of jokes. Shiyu. Uh-oh. Well, I can just nuke Shiyu. They can't really go into Shiyu because I just nuke it. Okay, what are they palpating back? I kind of wish I had a Spirit Tomb in the deck. Would have made this matchup easier. I'm not putting Spirit Tomb in just to tech for a Snorlax. This matchup isn't even that bad. Um, all right. Whatever. Can we just draw a boss for game? I guess I could shuffle with Nest Ball. Should probably do that to try to redraw the boss. Or switch card. I could just draw a switch card and flat out win on the spot, but we'll just, we'll just keep up the spinning attack pressure. I don't know. I think this is fine. I mean, if they mill switch card boss, it's annoying. But even then, like, they have to do something about the Soul Rocket. They have to penny every single turn. So, like, it's probably fine to just keep doing this, to be honest with you. It probably doesn't matter too much. Like, they can't really do much about the Soul Rock. And the Raging Bolt being in play just threatens. They can't go into anything. They can go into Mimikyu, but then I can just go into Lunatone, right? So, we'll see. They got the Pokey Gear. Penny. They found the Penny to... Okay, they can heal the Snorlax. They can't... They can go into their Snorlax, I guess, but still. Again, we just need boss or switch card and game's over. Silene, Double Tails, thankfully they hit that. That means they're not pennying, though. Wait a minute. Double Tails is actually huge. Okay, do they have a way to heal the Snorlax then? That's game. Oh, let's go. All right, not a bad matchup. I mean, Soul Rock, Lunatone, and Raging Bolt are pretty good attackers, and we had a good amount of outs to beating them. That got scary, though. The fact that they kept fighting Iono at, like, the perfect time was really annoying, but whatever. Snorlax managed to still draw optimally without having a Rotom in play, and we still ran him over, which is pretty sick. Point chose to go first, which is interesting. Turn one hand is fine. We can, I guess, figure something out for next turn. You know, they got the turn Buddy Poffin. That must be nice. Do they have Rotom, though? Because I do have the Iono them. They do have a Nest Ball. They got the perfect turn one going first. Yikes. Arceus. Whoa. They're playing Arc Charizard. All righty, then. Sure. Arceus could be a bit of an issue. We'll have to see, though. All right, we'll figure it out. I wish my hand was a little better. Uh, but we can Iono and figure it out, I guess. I don't even... Do I want to Iono them? I don't want to give them six new cards. That still feels kind of bad. But they have a bunch of two prizes down, so it could be okay for us. See what our top deck is. Nice. That was a big top deck. Can get Greninja. Yeah, kind of like going Greninja. Discard energy, draw more cards, see if we get anything good. We do get an Artisan, which I will play just to thin out a little bit. Grab another Lunatone. 
Might they just cycle draw? I think we're going to go for the Iono. We're probably going to cycle draw here. It is what it is. I'm obviously going to give them rare candy Charizard off this Iono, but I do want to draw cards, and this is one of the best ways to do it. And honestly, we got a pretty solid hand. We can Mentor Aging Bolt, and we can put another Psychic Energy in play. Uh, does it matter? Huh. Yeah, I guess. There's no reason not to Sun Energy, I guess. I don't think it matters. All right. Let me get rid of the uh, Fighting Energy here for Raging Bolt. Let's see. Nice. We got Lightning. All right, that's pretty good. We are able to attack next turn, actually, which is pretty sick. So, yeah, we do have the attack next turn with Raging Bolt. Now, they get Charizard here. We do have to commit a lot um, to the Charizard and knock it out. But it is feasible. Oh, they're playing Max Bell. Okay, that's so annoying. They're probably just going to go Rare King Charizard Boss. Not like this, bro. Hopefully they don't have it. I mean, ideally they don't. They don't. They have to Iono me. Okay, the Max Belt is annoying because it does allow the Charizard to one-shot my Raging Bolt, which kind of sucks. But we got the Booster Capsule. But they hit the Rare Candy Charizard anyways off of the Iono. That's fantastic. And they're probably going to get it anyways with Arceus. That kind of sucks, though. That kind of sucks. That was not an ideal Iono. Actually, we didn't get... um, We got, like, the Booster Capsule, but I didn't get any... I didn't get any Sada. That was a really annoying Iono. Not getting any Sada here is actually really bad. That's actually, yeah, it's not great. I mean, I have to go Raging Bolt, I think, no matter what. Hmm. See what our top deck is. I do have shoes. We can try to dig through the deck a little bit. Or we top deck Sada. That thankfully works too. All right, good. All right, so we can Artisan. I need an energy to knock out my opponent's active Pokemon here. I need two energy still. Yikes. Hmm. We'll see if we can get there. We'll Sada. Fighting. Okay. Oh, we got Greninja to work with. We still have a chance. We did prize a Vessel and a Sada. Yikes. Because we don't knock this thing out. I mean, it's not looking good. Because they can just go vacuum, max bell, knock out if they get. Like, yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. Little shoes. Nah, it's not doing us many favors. Yeah, I need this lightning. If I get the light energy, it is feasible to knock out this Charizard. Did not get the lightning energy. Dang it. So he whiffed the knockout on the Charizard. Damn. That actually really sucks. I didn't get a switch either. I could have went, like, Soul Rock. Or Lunatone, sorry, to attack. That's unfortunate. It's a pretty bad whiff on my end. Could get rid of the hand here with my burst roar attack. Ah, uh, low key. I think this is fine, right? I mean, we are losing a boss, I guess, but I think it's fine to burst roar. Most of the hand is just filler. Still no lightning energy. Where is it at, though? Where's the light energy? I need the light energy here to kill this Charizard. Now, hopefully my opponent doesn't have the wombo combo. If they can go vacuum rare candy Charizard... They can knock out my Raging Bolt. And then we're just kind of in trouble. They could also, like, boss kill my Lunatone here, which is pretty bad. It's an unfortunate attack with. Considering we had a good Snowball turn there. It's actually very unfortunate with the attack. I don't know what to tell you, man. Charizard is just too friggin' OP, bro. It's just too OP. This card is very good. They got Force Seal and Ultra Ball. The Force Seal is not doing too much. Then grab Arceus V-Star. They can go Vacuum Max Bell. They need Vacuum Max Bell Rare Candy Charizard. They need a... Three card combo to pull this off. I don't know if they have it or not. We'll see. If they have like any of those three cards in their hand though, Vacuum, Charizard, or Rare Candy, they can pull off the knockout on my Raging Bolt this turn. And if Raging Bolt gets knocked out, um, it's pretty bad. I mean, we still have this guy on. And we knock out this Charizard. No, thankfully, the if they can't one-shot me back, but we'll see. I don't know. Vacuum is just annoying. If they don't knock me out here, we're actually chilling for a turn. I don't like my odds. Okay, they don't have it. Nice. Unless they have some secret sauce. They could still, mm, they could still, like, I guess they're just going to end my active, actually. They don't have a Gust this turn. They've already Arvind. Okay. I'm actually fine with this. This Raving Boss would be nice, because then I could go, like, uh, if I can seal it into a Lightning, we can, like, boss kill their Pidgeot. We're just probably going to go 2-2-2, two, 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 I think. We're just going to try to run over everything in the active spot every single turn. That's the plan. There's an Artisan. Sure. Yeah, we're just going to try to attack everything in the active spot every turn. I think that's going to be the goal. At this rate, the way this is going, it's going to have to be the plan. 
Kelsey, to my point of anything else here, they can't gust me this turn unless they have Pokemon Catcher. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Yo, Catcher Zard, bro. New deck found Catcher Zard. Insane deck. Hmm. The Charizard is annoying, though. There's so much HP, but this is fine. As long as I find Lightning Energy, we should be able to take a KO this turn. The question is, will I be able to do it? There we go. We finally got ourselves an energy cheese. Took us too long, but we got there. I don't think I want to play the Sada, right? They could Iono me, which is a little annoying. Could vacuum to get rid of this max belt. Getting rid of the max belt is very much... Does it matter if we get rid of max belt? Yeah, because... I mean, I guess. There's no reason not to get rid of the max belt, I don't think. The only downside is we can't mention the thing. But I could honestly just blow up the Charizard with... I could honestly... I mean, can that Arceus with... Or Pidgeot even with Lunatone doesn't seem unfeasible. We need five energy to take this out. Yeah, we'll see what's up. All right. The Ancient Booster Capitals might be putting it work. If they don't have a vacuum, we might be chilling. All right. Let's see if we can get Vessel Sada out of the prizes. No. I don't need those. The Heavy Ball's useless. Damn it. Bad prizes. You hate to see it. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. They do have a Super Rod here. They're probably going to Iono. Now, if we don't get Iono, I think we're actually in an okay spot. They're probably going to Iono me, though. It's like... Well, they need a Charizard, though. They need to get Charizard. So, we'll see if they Iono. There's Charmander. There's Nest Ball. Could get Radzard here. Radzard's fine. We have the Ancient Booster Caps on. It's not the end of the world. As long as we can knock out the active. Of course, they had Charizard already in hand. Go figure. They could actually knock me out with Radzard this turn. Which would be pretty annoying. Yeah, they can go Radzard this turn, actually, which is bad. But they have to retreat the Charizard, though. Yeah, I don't think they're doing it. They put one energy on. That's probably not happening. No, oh, a research. No Iono. That actually might keep us... Okay, I think no Iono there is huge. The fact they didn't Iono me might actually give me a chance to stay in this game. All right. I'm fine. You're not Ioni. I don't really mind that, actually. That's, like, actually optimal for us. That's crazy. Okay. No Iono's good. There's quick search. Sure. What do they even grab? Vacuum? No, vacuum doesn't really matter right now. I guess it would matter on our second Raging Bolt. I'm curious to see what this... Quick search is going to grab him. Let's see. What are they grabbing? I guess did they play double Charmeleon and then get another Charmeleon. It's going to be a close game. This is going to be a very close game. We basically have to take a knockout. We have to go 2-2-2 because two, 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 they're going to... They don't have a vacuum. They have to be playing. There's no way they're not playing vacuum, right? I think we have the boss next turn, right? I guess we'll see. It's going to be a close one, though, for sure. It's going to be a very close game. The Radiant Charizard, honestly, is, is such it's, it just sucks, bro. The Radiant Charizard is why Charizard EX is so broken. Because, like, I can't win the game because of the Radiant Zard breaking the prize trade. It's so silly. Let's see what our top deck is. Iono, not what I'm looking for. Let me look through my deck real quick, see what I have. Raging Bolt. We do have Prime Catcher. That could be our... It's going to have to be the win con, right? It's to Prime Catcher. We're going to have to try to win the game with Prime Catcher next turn, methinks. It's feasible. Prime Catcher for the win? I think so. All right. Let's go Sada. Get these down. See what we got. Okay. Put that on. Get the energy on. You can see the combo working pretty well here. The sun energy. Getting the energy in place pretty sick. We have to get rid of all the energy to nuke the active. Do I even want to conceal cards? Not really. We're going to get Ionode. The sod is in our hand, which is kind of a problem. Yeah, I don't want to conceal cards. I might need it for next turn. Hmm. Let's attack the active and pray. One, two, three. We got to get rid of the two on the active and knock out. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Well, it's going to be close. The Radiant Charizard messes things up a lot. Can we get the other sod out of the prizes? We got Palpad and Shoes. Eh, 
it's like okay. The pal pad's good. The trekking shoes is okay at best. All right, let's see what they got. Let's see if they have anything. They have rare candy Charizard. Are they not going radiant? Do they not have a lost vacuum in the deck? But they no. They could also just go boss my other radiant bull. I'm surprised they're not going radiant Zard. Surely that's the correct thing is to go this guy. Okay. Interesting. Not going Radiant Charizard is kind of weird. I don't know why they're not doing that. This is, I mean, I have the ability to eventually win. So no, oh, Countercatcher. My other Raging Ball. Okay, that's a little annoying. I mean, this this is still kind of bad, too. Because I'm uh, 300 HP is still enough for this thing to one-shot. Yikes. Hmm. Yep, yeah, Luminion. That's actually fine, though. That's... Something I can definitely knock out with Raging Bolt, though. If I can find this Prime Catcher. I mean, if they want to bench fish, that's fine. I don't think they are. I think they're just going Iono. I mean, it's... I don't know. It's not looking good. Either way, I think Radzard, Counter Catcher, kill this guy, Iono. It's, like, still pretty grief anyways. A uh, nut... Wait, is that three Super Rod? My opponent plays three Super Rod. Why, what, why do they play three? That's overkill for sure, bro. All right, what are they doing? If they don't Iono me here, we might be okay. Well, they don't Iono me. I think we just have game. They have to Iono me here. No, they're benching Luminion. I mean, that has to grab Iono. I'm fine with that. Because that's going to basically give me access to Prime Catcher for game. And they got the Iono. Okay. That's, I mean, ugh, the freaking Sada's go to the bottom of the deck, though. Got Rod and Energy. If they get a Counter Stadium, it's kind of great. Reversal? What the heck? And they stay in the active. Okay. Is there ever a boss? Well, no. Maybe we should promote Raging Bolt and Prey. We have to find Sada. Thankfully, we can shuffle the deck with Artisan. None of these cards are good. It's If Greninja whiffs, we just flat out lose, probably. We basically just have to not whiff off Greninja. Is it, uh, I can get... No, I can thin this guy out. All right, here we go. If this Greninja whiffs, we lose. We basically need this to hit an energy. Or Sada. Okay, shoes. It's close. Come on, Sada, Sada, Poke Gear. No, we got Prime Catcher. No, it's not enough. Actually came really close. Jeez. It was that. I mean, the Ionos are just too much. This is why this deck just fails against Charizard. I think this is GG's. I have no way to win. My opponent had two prizes left. I could have promoted the Lunatone and then Prime Catcher the Radzard. But that's basically GG's. If I had another, if I had an energy or two on this guy, we probably could have won the game by knocking out the Luminion, right? But yeah, I don't think there's any way we can win here. I basically, like if I got Sada, we would have won the game. We came close. The shoes Greninja combo got us there almost, but there's nothing I can do. This guy only does mm, not enough. If we had one prize left, I could have won the game. Did they super rod energy back in the deck? I mean, it's they have an energy in the deck, though. There's, yeah, they definitely have energy left. Yeah, I don't know. We're just going to prime catcher this and just cry that we whiffed. Close, but no cigar. We were one sawed away. We came very close. Like I said, it was actually super close. But Iono just kind of bodies us. And unfortunately, I can't really do anything about an Iono in the late game. Charizard's just, it's a tough matchup for this deck. It doesn't matter what you're playing. Charizard is just a tough matchup. It's Charizard, bro. Basic EXs just don't work against it. Now, if this was Dragapult on the other end, maybe it would have been winnable. Um, we honestly, it was, it was getting, we needed that Palpat earlier in the game. That would have been a lot better too, getting those Sadas back. Not getting the Palpat earlier on kind of sucked too. And there you go, folks. That is the Raging Bolt Lunatone Soul Rock deck in action. Not going to lie, it's a pretty powerful combo. Uh, we almost beat a Charizard deck too. Very unfortunate game there. It kind of came down to us finding that last Sada. Uh, but yeah, Charizard can be tough when they have Iono spam and they have a Pokemon that can Ooga Booga one-shot you. And you do need a lot of energy to one-shot them back. But overall, the combo of using rocks with Raging Bolt is nice. You get a nice one prize attacker or Sometimes and of course just having that built-in engine is nice because you don't have sandy shocks in your bench You have less two prize liabilities in play The only two prizer in the deck is literally just the raging bolt I don't know what I would change about my list after playing it. I think the 60 was pretty solid um, I guess you can tweak around the energy there you saw in that Snorlax matchup having more fighting energy could have made a big difference because 
you can attack with Soul Rock, right? Which is a huge deal. So maybe you can toy around with how many fight energy you play in here. Because Soul Rock is a great attacker against Snorlax, right? It puts on a lot of pressure, as you saw there. And uh, yeah, I like the 60 a lot. Maybe a fourth vessel could be good. I mean, three vessels a lot too, right? I don't know. The list feels pretty solid though. And Raging Bolt Rocks definitely feels like a pretty cool combo. There are a lot of plays, a lot of ways, and a lot of plays you can do with Raging Bolt. I'm definitely excited to try out even more Raging Bolt decks in the future. There, there's one more Raging Bolt deck I got a video on coming out very soon. So definitely keep around the channel for that. But that'll be for me if you enjoyed the video on the Raging Bolt Rocks deck. Leave a like if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 60 thousand subscribers once again we are getting very close to the big 60k sub milestones if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe down below check our car cabin down below too if you get any codes use code ldf check out my um second channel down below too for some extra content just did a video where, video where i looked at a bunch of rogue decks in japan right now from twilight masquerade so definitely if you're interested in the rogue stuff from twilight masquerade definitely go check out my recent second channel video link down below in the description and check out the collab i did with magic the gathering malone and all that good stuff and i'll see you all later Bye bye